Good morning, Birdos! Are you guys enjoying being in this jungle? Because personally, I think this is absolutely amazing. Oh, look at all these plants! Just imagine, you guys, after I move, Chips has already agreed to help me build a living wall of greenery! We've been looking up, like, the different things we would buy in order to make an actual living wall where it will just be covered in plants. I'm so excited. We already have some great ideas. We already know the nurseries in Ann Arbor that we're going to be looking at to find plants. And then you guys will hopefully be getting a bigger cage, too! What do you think about that, my beauties? And maybe even more Gouldian finches if I can sneak some of them in. Oh, I love you guys. Good morning. It's weird not starting my day with you guys because you're so far away and I'm in the office in the other room, but just for a few more days. Okay, so I've been keeping a fun secret from you guys because I wanted to make sure it was going to happen and today it's going to happen and we are going to be going to see lemurs. <laughs> We're going to go see lemurs at the Duke Research Center. So Duke University is very close to us. We're only like maybe 20, 30 minutes away from it. And they have a lemur research center there, which is absolutely amazing. It is one of the biggest lemur research centers on the planet. And they've got all sorts of different lemurs. And I'm really excited. We've been meaning to go for a long time and do tours over there. And it was one of those things that I really don't want to have happen in the future again, where you put something off because you're like, oh, there'll be plenty of time for it. And then you move. <laughs> which is why after we move I'm going to work very very hard to hopefully do all of these kinds of adventure things with chips before we actually leave uh, but thankfully we at least get to do this little adventure bit so today we are going to be headed over to the Duke Lemur Research Center we are going to be going on a tour it's just going to be a brief little outdoor tour to see what the lemurs look like and to see how they're doing it's going to be a hot summer day so I'm not sure how comfortable it will be but I'm really excited because it should make some awesome some adventure vlogs and specimen spotlights and some snippets for over here too so it'll be content for both channels because I love sharing like the real-life animals and the researchers and the biologists who take care of them with everybody and usually I put like the bulk of the stuff over on the main channel so if you're like but Siri where are the lemurs then check over there too I'll try to link in the video description once like videos get out but I am so excited you guys this is gonna be really awesome they have so many different species of lemur including the mouse lemur which I don't think we're gonna see because it's like this big it's so tiny and it's really cute and it's really endangered like many 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 of the lemur species are but yeah we're gonna go on a nice outdoor tour it's probably gonna be really hot but I don't care because lemurs and I'm probably gonna get something really adorable from the gift shop and we're actually going to be going with Chips's family so I may not be able to vlog as much as I normally would in these kinds of situations and I might be a little bit sad if I can't snag everything, except for the fact that we can always come back. We will be coming back over here to North Carolina to visit his family quite often. And the tours that I wanted to do are like the lemur keeper for a day tour. I really wanted to do that and record it and put it up on the channel for you guys. But it's kind of expensive. So I'm going to save up and the next time we visit, I'm going to try to do the lemur keeper for a day tour. I'll bring you guys with me. But today we'll at least have a taste of a tour of what the lemurs are like and what the center is like. And I'm really excited to share that adventure with you guys. And to remind you guys, if you have something you're waiting to do that's a fun adventure in your place, don't wait anymore. Plan it. Go do it because you never know what's going to happen. You might end up moving halfway across the country all of a sudden. It's happened to me multiple times. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go see lemurs. This looks like a pretty cool book. He 
pink boots and a machete. My journey from NFL cheerleader to National Geographic Explorer. That actually sounds pretty awesome. So hot, but that was so much fun. And the nocturnal thing was so adorable. Lemurs were amazing. It is hours later and I'm just starting to get my energy back. It was about a 40 minute drive there, 40 minute drive back, but it was so worth it to see these guys in person. And they were just so, I want to say cute, but they were also very fascinating to see and to see that range of motion and the way that they move so differently from any of the animals that I'm used to seeing in my own backyard. They kind of reminded me a little bit of like a possum and a squirrel, the way that they could shimmy up trees really quickly. A possum more for the size, because a possum doesn't really shimmy up a tree very quickly, though they can climb trees. And it was so amazing to see the diversity of lemurs too, and to know that these guys have such a huge range. There were ringtail lemurs, there were tiny little mouse lemurs, the mouse lemurs were the best, I loved them. And they had fat tail lemurs, they had uh, like crown lemurs and red ruffed lemurs, and they have several other varieties of lemur. The awesome little tour guide, she was the sophomore uh, from China actually, she came over here from China to do studying in the United States and did a tour, because they offer free tours if you are a student at Duke University, she did a tour at the Lemur Research Center and fell in love with them. She had never seen lemurs before. Before. She had no idea they even existed before. She went and she did the tour, totally fell in love with them, and it was so awesome to be surrounded by other people who are that enthusiastic and that into biology. It's just like when we went to Bald Head Island and I met up with the other biologists and it was just like, my peers! The people who don't care if they're climbing through mud and like sweaty and sitting and exhausted and working 14 hours a day if it means they can track down their science projects and take care of the animals and learn more and the nitty gritty experiences of doing that kind of work in the field and how everything is held together with duct tape and like mosquito repellent and <laughs> a lot of water, water bottles and exhaustion and uh, it was just, it was really cool. It was really cool. It was very, very hot. It was about 97 degrees Fahrenheit here. And the lemurs were really worn out. So you can actually see how they were really hot in the video. I'm probably going to put most of the video up as a specimen spotlight over on the main channel to try to educate people about lemurs a little bit. In the future, I would definitely go again and do like a behind the scenes sort of lemur tour. And I definitely would get a better camera so that I could zoom in because there were a lot of baby lemurs. And I really wish I could have zoomed in between the bars to get a really good look at them without disturbing them too much because the mamas were taking good care of their babies and apparently all lemurs except for oh what was it it was like the golden lemur or one of the groups so almost all lemurs except for this one subspecies of lemur are led by the females they're matrilineal, so the women are in charge and they kind of are the first to eat and they're the first to uh, like pick a mate and they're the ones who decide where the uh, I hesitate to say lemur troop it's more like a family where the little lemur family goes and there's another we saw one variety of lemur where it's kind of codependent where it sort of switches off between the male or the female depending who's gonna be in charge but we, I didn't know that about lemurs I didn't know that the female usually leads and that's mostly because she's the one who has the babies <laughs> so we saw a lot of pairs we saw a lot of pairs and we saw let's see a we saw Isabella and she was actually Zabumafu's great grand or granddaughter not great granddaughter but Zabumafu's granddaughter so the actual descendant of one of the most famous like media lemurs out there and I thought that was really really cool I've actually never seen seen Zabumafu, but I know a lot of people have, and it was really exciting to know I'm looking at like a lemur descended from that bloodline, so that was really, really cool. And the Duke Lemur Center actually has the largest collection of lemurs in the entire world outside of Madagascar. They have over 210 individuals over there right now, and we got to see quite a variety of lemurs. I was really impressed, and I knew I was kind of in love with the mouse lemur, and then when I actually saw the mouse lemur, and I think it was called the fat tail lemur, but I'm just thinking of its big fat tail, and that's probably why. But I'm pretty sure that the mouse lemurs, the nocturnal tiny lemurs, are my new favorite ones. We also saw an eye eye, and it was so big. I don't think any of the video from the nocturnal lemurs is going to show up because we had to turn off like all lights. If you had any lights that showed on your cameras, you had to like turn your cameras off, and it was really difficult. It was just really hard to see, and it was so crowded because there were like 20 people 
shoved inside this tiny room looking through these windows at the nocturnal lemurs and it was amazing and the little mouse lemurs they're basically as fast as chipmunks and they move like chipmunks do it's just all over the place but they have gigantic eyes <laughs> So they're basically like a large-eyed chipmunk is what a mouse lemur is. And the fat tail lemurs, and that's probably not what they're called, it's just that they have a fat, very fat tails and they store their fat in their tail, kind of like a leopard gecko does actually. And they eat off of that during the dry season when there's less food. Um, or like they, you know, have the nutrient. they don't eat their tail. Some species do eat their tail, so I better clarify. They actually just process the fat they've stored in their tail for food during seasons where they don't have a lot of food, during the, the winter, the winter season. In Madagascar, that just means dry season. But it was amazing to see them because their movements were so unique and I really, really, really fell in love with them. Oh, and yes, I did bring home a little lemur. I had to bring something home from the gift shop. It was just... It really was an amazing experience and whenever you go out to do those experiences where you go on location somewhere where there's like lots of animals, it's always a lot sweatier and a lot harder than I think and I have like this ideal of being able to like record the lemurs and interview the keeper but there's 20 other people there and one of these days you guys I'm gonna figure out the way where I can have the proper equipment and the proper clearance and like the proper permission to interview people so that I can really show you guys these special creatures and these special experiences and let you guys know why these guys are so important why they are so endangered what we can do to help them why we should help them and actually we learned about the mouse lemur they've discovered the mouse lemur actually has a form of Alzheimer's as it gets older and they're hoping that researching that will help shed new light on on human Alzheimer's which is really one of the most devastating diseases I think that are out there so yeah I mean you never know what you might learn from a lemur and they were really really cute and it was really hot so they came out and they fed the lemurs with uh, frozen grapes which I thought was pretty neat so it's one of the ways that the lemurs cool down when it's a really really hot day oh and it was fun and I also got a little pen I got a little lapel pen because believe it or not I'm actually sort of a sucker for these kinds of things especially when they're animal related so I got a little lapel pen and I'm going to be decorating these guys as memento memories of having gone to the Duke Lemur Center for the first time and I definitely plan on going back again with chips and maybe we'll do like lemur painting or the like in the cages with the lemurs things which is another tour you can pay for so that you can get really good like camera shots and everything I think that we'll do that next time we come back to North Carolina I wish this let my lemurs and let the fact that there were so many tours I didn't go on be a lesson to you guys this is why you should go and do the thing that you've been putting off. The thing that you think that might be cool to do one day, go do it. You don't know when you might have to move. You don't know when that thing's gonna close down. You don't know when everything's gonna change. Go do it. Go go on an adventure. You never know what you're gonna see. And I just, ah, oh, being back there and seeing all of those people and seeing them like haul the food dishes and seeing them put their gloves on and looking at the outfit and the gear they were wearing, it really made me miss, miss, miss working there, miss working, not at the, I've never worked at the Lima Research Center, but miss working with animals, miss the sense of like physical hard work. I actually really do enjoy working physically hard when it's related to taking care of animals and animal well-being and it's just... I miss that so much, you guys. And then I told I told Chips that. I told him that in the car. And he looked at me, burst out laughing, and he was like, so you miss being poor? <laughs> and it's true. It's true. All of my friends who are zookeepers and all of my friends who do those positions work on internship, pay for the privilege, or they earn below minimum wage, if minimum wage, if they're lucky, and not one of them is full time. So with like degrees, with master's degrees in some cases. So... I miss it, but you don't have to worry about me leaving the beautiful opportunity that is YouTube in order to go and participate in doing that kind of hard work again. I'll just bring you guys along with me with future vlogs there, but I loved it. The lemur center was amazing. I would love to know if you guys are interested in lemurs. I cannot wait to share the actual lemur footage, like the good stuff of it over on the main channel. Hopefully we can spark a passion for lemurs and maybe there's people like our tour guide who have never even heard of lemurs before or seen a lemur and maybe it'll be a great way to share that with them. 
done. And that's why it's so cool. And that's why that's why this will be okay. Even if I'm not in the in the trenches, then the literal trenches, like shoveling manure and and feeding animals anymore, then at least I am trying to share my love with them, love of them and with them, but my love of them with thousands of people and it might do something to help change the world. So don't be shy about it. If you really are passionate about a creature or an animal or a plant or anything, if you're passionate about anything, dive in, dive in and do it, you guys. The more you share your passion, the more likely it is that you're going to inspire other people and then your passion gets to grow in the world and there's more for you to enjoy later, like more lemurs. So yeah, oh, it was an amazing day. It was an amazing day. It was an exhausting day. We came home, showered, and I passed out. <laughs> And now we're, we're ticking away the days, you guys. So we just completed our last big planned thing. The next big planned thing is probably taking all of the um, donations behind me to a place like Goodwill or somewhere like that so that we don't have to haul them across the country. Our stuff's already in Michigan. So we got an email alert today that our U-boxes are waiting for us. And so they're already there. We're gonna go meet our stuff. So we are gonna be headed out Monday morning, early Monday morning, and we're driving across the country and we're going to be in Michigan. So the moving adventures continue. We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here to three days to enjoy the lake and to enjoy time with Chips' family. And then our lives change and enter a whole new chapter. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Well, I had a wonderful lemur day and I hope that you guys are going to enjoy seeing all the lemurs and then we're going to continue the last phases of the moving vlogs pretty soon because we're going to be wrapping up our move. That's really awesome. 